Hello there, my purple banditos, and welcome back to more Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. I'm Purple Rodri. Last time, we obtained Epona and did a bunch of the Romani Ranch side quests. In today's episode, we have arrived here in the Ikana Graveyard, and this is where we're going to continue on. We're doing things a little bit out of order, but I think this is the best way to go about it. So here in Ikana Graveyard, we actually have quite a bit to do. This whole place in general, there's a lot to do. So first of all, as you can see, there's a big guy laying here, so we're going to have to take care of him. So let's go ahead and see if we can get him up and running. Also, thank you guys to all of you who are tuning in and who are watching the series. You know, the reason I do this is for those of you guys that, you know, really enjoy Zelda. And it means a lot to me since this is my favorite game. Thanks to you guys who, you know, tune in and watch and put up with all my craziness. I know that, you know, it's been a little bit slow. But as I was saying, today on Saturday, I'm putting up two parts, probably two more parts tomorrow on Sunday. And then Monday through Friday, I am going to be uploading some more Majora's Mask, probably one part a day, a little bit in the afternoon, probably after the randomizer Nuzlocke, for those of you wondering. So I just played the Sonata of Awakening, and as you can see, this huge skeleton guy has awoken. Yeah, that, that's pretty much it. Let's see if we can keep up with him. We actually have to stay right behind him and kill all the Stalfos that pop out, so or skeletons, you know, whatever you want to call them. And then this throws us into a fight with him. Now, there are a couple different ways that you can do this fight. You can either fight him like I'm doing, or you can whoop out the Goron's Mask. There's a bunch of different ways to go about it. But this is how I decided to do it. Because the spin attack and the sword that we now have actually do a bunch of damage. With that, guys, we knocked him out. So it's pretty simple. He's pretty much just going to give up and be like, please, no more. You have up to the point where he gets to the front to knock him out. And this is just one of the easiest ways to do it. So, since being shamed, I've waited here for one to come and awaken my soul. Young swordsman who has awakened and definitely defeated me. I shall rely on your power to fulfill my request. I ask you to take my soul, which rests in the chest. So with that, guys... You know, this guy says that he's got something special in the chest, and then tell them the war has ended. Who could he be speaking about? We'll probably find out as we go deeper and deeper into it. This is actually pretty cool, though. I like the fact that we can come to this area, and you know how this guy is saluting to us? Maybe that means something. It's, it's kind of sad seeing, you know, these Stalfos doing this type of thing, though. Kind of makes you wonder... You know, what exactly is there in the Zelda world after these guys, you know, get killed in war? It's a, it's a little bit sad, honestly, thinking about it. But we're going to go ahead and salute the captain as well. And with that, he is going to finally be able to move on. He has turned into bones. Now, let's go ahead and actually jump across then. And we are going to go ahead and open this chest, which is going to have something that is definitely going to come in very handy in our adventure. Let, let's hope I can make this jump too. Usually, I should be able to make it with the bunny hood. There we go. So let's go ahead and open this chest. And inside of the chest now, there is going to be something quite special. So with that, guys, we have obtained the captain's hat. And this is something that we are going to be able to use very, very soon. So as I said, there's actually a lot of things that I want to take care of here in the Ikana Graveyard. So that's what I'm going to be doing today, focusing around doing the little side quests here. I want to do as many side quests as possible before getting to Great Bay. So I'm just going to do the ones that I can for now, and we'll continue going from there. So now that we have the Captain's Hat, we can actually do a couple more things with it. So I am going to head back, and as you guys can see, there's this guy right here. He's usually the Grave Digger in all the Legend of Zelda games. I'm going to go ahead and fast forward time just a little bit, though. So we can speed our way to nighttime because that is where we're going to get a lot done here in this graveyard. So let's go ahead and play the song of double time. We're going to go ahead and skip to 6 p.m. And now this is actually going to be a little bit of a fun side quest. This is actually one of those where there's a lot of fighting, a lot of puzzle solving involved. And this is going to be really, really fun. So as you can see... There's a bunch of Stalfos circling a grave. That means that that is the grave that we have to enter that night. And now that we have the captain's hat, they will dig for you. So this is something that you have to do. You can open the grave, but you have to be wearing the captain's hat. So just make sure that you guys have it. And with that, guys, we have awoke the Stalfos. And uh, this, this, the stall children are the ones who are going to be opening up the grave for us. So depending on the day, will depend on which grave these guys are circling. And will also depend on the rewards and the different things you have to do here for the different side quests. So let's go ahead and jump down into the grave then and make our way into beneath the graveyard. This is a mess. I wonder who's sitting here constructing these graves, honestly. Probably a pretty crazy architect. Whoever the guy was that designed all these temples and all these graves, props to them. They must have had a lot of creativity having to do all these things. 
Now, I actually like this because it's a little bit of like a side dungeon. We're going to get to do a little bit of side quests and those sorts of things, uh, which is fun. So let me actually figure it out what it is we need to do. I'm going to knock out the rest of these guys. And with that, it looks like a chest has opened up for us. And we are going to go ahead and pop this thing open. Now, this is actually nothing too crazy if I remember. It's one of those decoy chests that try to throw you off from what you're actually supposed to be doing. We're actually supposed to be lighting all these little candles, and that's what's going to give us access to the next room. I love going back through these places. This really brings me back to the days. When I first played through this game, I had no idea what I was doing. I was just taking my best guess, and it just so happened to work out. Now, let's go ahead and fight this guy then. Let me go ahead and try to get some hits in on him. It's actually pretty simple. If you just step back, it's a little trick, guys. Hit him once, step back. And then once his armor drops, it gets even easier. Now that he's a little bit faster, we can pretty much just jam him with everything we have. And we don't even have to do much more than that. Let me go ahead and actually... Wow, he's actually defending pretty well. There we... Oh, wow. I'm actually surprised I didn't hit him there. So, very simple with the Gilded Sword. Makes it a piece of cake, guys. Makes it an absolute piece of cake. And with that, guys, it looks like the currents have opened. And we have something hiding behind there. So, let's go ahead and check out what exactly this tombstone reads. Could it be something important? Who knows? Are you the one who freed my soul? I serve the Ikana royal family. I am the composer Flat. The songs connected to the royal family that remain here were all mine and my brothers. Oh, Sharp, my dear brother. He sold his soul to the devil and was the one who locked me in here. You do not fear the dead. Learn with the song that is inscribed behind me. And if you ever meet my brother, I'd like you to inform him. The thousand years of raindrops summoned by my songs are my tears. The lightning that strikes the earth is my anger. I have made my request. So with that, guys, it looks like there is a song inscribed on here. So let's go ahead and see if we can learn it. The thousand years of drain rock summoned by my song are my tears. The lightning that strikes the earth is my anger. Here's written the song that shall make the clouds bloom. So with that, guys, we are going to learn a brand new song. And I think a couple of you guys know which one this is. So, what, what? With that, guys, we learned the Song of Storms, and now we can actually make it rain. Make it rain! All right, yeah, we're going to make it rain pretty much everywhere now that we've learned this song. This is definitely crucial for the adventure, so, you know, definitely get this song. You want to get every single song in this game, but let's go ahead and get out of here then. That is our day one mission, was actually obtaining that song. Now we can continue onwards and make our way to the second day, third day. You know, there's going to be a bunch more things for us to do, but that was it for the first day here in these graves and it's actually pretty simple so there wasn't too much crazy stuff let's go ahead and fast forward time a little bit then and make our way to the second day so we can continue you know hunting for whatever it is that's hiding here imagine playing through this game for the first time how in the heck would you even know that these graves have all these different elements behind it there's some people out there who had to work really really hard to explore this i'm telling you when i was a kid I did not have any idea what half of this did. It wasn't until I got a little bit older and started figuring it out that I finally, you know, managed to figure out every little secret in this game. But I think that's one of the things that really stuck with me as a kid were all the little secrets in this game. I bet to this day, there's still secrets in Majora's Mask that I don't even know about. But with that, guys, we have arrived in the night of the second day. And let's continue on. As I said... The graves are going to rotate a little bit, and the Stalfo children are going to move around. So let's go ahead and get to the second grave then. I actually don't really remember what the second grave is. Uh, let's hope that I remember it once we actually get down there. All right, dude, open the grave, guys. Let me jump back down there. Give, give me something special. I kind of feel bad for these guys that they're just stuck here. It's kind of strange, honestly, thinking about it. What defines a Stalfos and what defines a zombie in this game? 
You know, what What turns one into the other? I don't really know. We're going to go ahead and pop down this hole then. And let's see if I remember what it is we need to do. Oh, okay. This is actually not that bad of one. This is actually pretty easy. I'm pretty sure we're going to need the Eye of Truth. Yep, the Lens of Truth. And there we have it. This is, it reminds me a little bit of the Shadow Temple in... Uh, Ocarina of Time, you guys remember those symbols that were across the walls? It's a little bit like that. This, this is a little bit weird having used the Lens of Truth down here. I think sometimes in, in Majora's Mask, they do throw a little something that's going to remind you of Ocarina of Time, which is pretty cool with me. Now that we have the fire arrows, though, this is cake. We can knock down, like, every opponent, or just having the arrows in general. And with that, I'm going to be making my way through here quite easily. Make sure you guys kill everything. The bats are really really annoying these are like the most annoying things in this game one hit from them and they'll pretty much just knock you out definitely not something you guys want to be dealing with well now that we have arrived here though let me go ahead and actually check all right let's go here we got to throw down some bombs guys good thing we have bombs right am i right am i right always have some bombs handy because you never know you don't want to be blowing yourself up with a blast mask all the time Believe me, I've been there. I've been at the point in the adventure where you're just like so low on items and everything that you just end up, you know, having to bomb yourself up. All right, once again, pretty simple to take this guy down. Pretty easy until he takes down his armor since he is super slow. One more hit should do it. I'm looking quite good. A couple more hits, actually. This guy is a little bit more stubborn than the last one. Come on, come on, come on. I am so close. Ah, there we have it. Okay, so speed up mode. I should have him here and like, yep, oh, like one or two more hits. There we have it. The spin attack or the bomb. Make sure you guys use that on every opponent that you can. And there we have it. So it's just a matter of battling these guys over and over. And that, that's pretty much it, guys. There's not a lot of craziness here in the little graveyard. But let's go ahead and see what we have obtained then. This is actually going to be something pretty good. So with that, guys, we've obtained a piece of heart. So another one has been added, and uh, we are looking quite good. So buried treasure, we are almost completed here. We have finished two days. We have one more day to go, and I think this is one of the, the funnest days. I think the third day is the one that has one of the more crazy things in mind. So let's go ahead and actually put the lens of truth back on and get out of here. I hope you guys are enjoying your weekend. I know that there's like a blizzard going through the East Coast. So for you guys that are on the East Coast, you know, I hope you guys are keeping safe, stay inside, you know, hope you guys are playing some games and, you know, getting to relax, because I know, I actually don't know, I've never been in a blizzard, but I know how tough it can be in the snow, so I can't even imagine having a blizzard coming through where I live. So let's go ahead and get out of here then, pretty simple little second day, and I'm actually excited for the third day, the third day is just... Uh, a mess. It, it's like a crazy mini game is what they give you for the third day. So as you can see, there's different entrances throughout the days. So depending on the day you'll be staying down here, this is all like one big place. You can almost consider the graveyard like a mini dungeon. So let's go ahead and fast forward time a little bit again so we can get going a little bit further here. I actually like that we're about halfway through the game. We have about half of the masks. And I'd say that's pretty cool. Okay, let's go ahead and fast forward a lot of time then. To the third day it's getting a little bit dangerous though with the moon coming close but with that we are fast forwarding to the last day guys this is it you better hope that the moon doesn't collapse on us while we're running around knocking out the rest of this i actually need to make it nighttime again i wish that you know the the song of double time would honestly just let me skip like a whole day but i mean i guess it makes sense for players that maybe don't know a little bit more about the game or don't know a little bit that know a little bit less about the game. They don't want to completely to just throw them in there and mess their cycle up. With that, though, we are back here in the final night, guys. So let's go ahead and continue onwards. We're looking quite good. We are in the night of the final day, guys. And now this adventure continues on. So let's go ahead and talk to them. This is going to be it, guys. This is going to be the final day here in the graveyard. So let's go ahead and get them to open the grave back again. Yes, sir. Let's go ahead and go down there. The captain's hat coming in very clutch right now. Coming in very clutch. Now, this is actually going to be a little bit of a messy night. This one's a little bit more difficult, if I have to say so myself. It's actually like a you know dompe mini quest we have to dig around with him it can be a little bit frustrating i gotta tell you that we gotta fight a couple pose around here so let's go ahead and talk to him 
you basically it, it's gonna be a it's gonna be hard this is one of the most difficult little mini games that's why you know slow down your flow of time you guys are wanna gonna, gonna want to have a little more time for this one because it takes uh, quite a bit of time actually so if he follows it around you have to keep him Z targeted this is something I didn't know back in the day so make sure you have him Z targeted and we're actually gonna have to dig through all these holes and hope that we find pose and then we have to take down the pose yeah, it, it's a lot to do here. So let's see if we got anything. Something strange is here, but it isn't any treasure. Let's go ahead and Z-target him. We're going to Z-target him pretty much to every single spot. So let's go ahead and get him to... This guy is slow. I mean, dang, man. Somebody get this guy a five-hour energy. Let's talk about this guy limping around. Dang, dude. Come on, man. That, took, that was like three... That was probably like... I don't know 10 feet who knows how big that was that was nothing man let's go ahead and see if there's gonna be anything magical inside of here nothing okay let's take him to another spot this is why I said this takes a while because of how slow this guy actually is and watch out for the master hands as I'm showing you right here make sure you dodge them they, they can be a little bit of trouble don't get grabbed by the master hands or you're pretty much gonna have to start this all over again and that's not something that you guys are gonna want to do it, it's better to do this in one go that's pretty much what I've realized about this game. So let's go ahead and lead Dompe a little bit further, though, guys. And we can actually bring him on top of these platforms, too. So we can actually take him to the top, or we can take him down. But in order for us to continue upwards, we actually have to go up here. So let's go ahead and make our way to the top, then. To the top we go. And you guys have to hurry and make sure that you get here before Dompe does. And Z-target him, or this isn't going to work out that well. All right, Dompe, come come off that slowly, my man. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. You know what you're doing, you old geezer. You old geezer, you. Oh, man, this guy. Let's talk about, you know, walking slow. Dang. All right. I've seen some slow walkers in my day. This guy takes the cake. All right. We have to find all those little flames, by the way. That's what it is. I had to remember it for a second. So let's go ahead and see. Hopefully, he'll find another little flame in this spot. There we go. There we go. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Now, I think there's like maybe one or two more flames located here. But, you know, Dompe's going to be doing his thing. He can actually just drop down too. So, it's not like you have to put him back on the platform. Let's take him to the other side though. Be oh, come on. Come on, Dompe. Look at me. Look at me, old geezer. Come here. Come this way, my man. Oh my gosh. This has to be the, the slowest NPC in history. Imagine, a race between this guy and the mailman. Honestly, I'd put my money on this guy. Look at him. Slow and steady wins the race. It probably doesn't. Honestly, the, the faster person probably wins the race, in all honesty. So, I, I, know, I know it's like a saying about patience. But, you know, if it's a real race, you probably want to go fast. You know, you probably want to go a little bit faster. All right, come on, man. Get on this platform. He's almost there. Almost there. Hopefully, we'll find the last couple flames. And then I can, you know, do, do what I came here for. All right, guys. Let, let's run back up then. All right. This is not that bad. It's, it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. I think before, I just didn't really realize that you could Z-target Dompe to follow you. I always thought, like, oh, you know, this guy just is random. So, now that I figured out the Z-target thing... It makes your life a heck of a lot easier. So, all right. Come on. Come on, old geezer. All right, old geezer. Hit me with something here. All right. Let's see. Let's see what you got for me, man. Come on. Dig me up the final little flame. There's something strange about this spot. I'm feeling the spot. This feels like a good spot for me. Yes, there it is. Very cool. So, with that, guys, the three flames have come together, and a Poe has appeared. He is running for his life. He's like, no, the leader of ghosts. So, now we actually have to take down this Poe. He's not that difficult. Just shoot him with the arrows until he appears again. And that's pretty much a cycle that we have to do. All right, man. Where are you at? Why, why can't I Z-target him? Where is he at? Where are you at? There he is. There he is. There he is. Oh, there we go. There we go. Just shield it and Z-target it. And this is cake. You guys got this in the bag. There we go. There we go. That's three hits. How many is it going to take? Like four? Probably four or five since it's the bow. Up. Oh. Oh, at least I didn't get hit there. That's four. Maybe the fifth time is the charm. I think the fifth time is going to be the charm. Let's dodge him a little more. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Fifth time's the charm. I knew it. I knew it was like four or five. So with that, guys, we've gotten ourselves a little bit of a chest. And uh, as well as a postal, I mean, you can put it in a bottle if you want to. 
it, it's up to you guys, whatever you want to do with the postal. So, you know, do your thing. If you guys want to throw that thing in a, in a bottle, you know, you do you guys. With that, we have caught a big po. And now this is actually something we're going to be using. So make sure you catch it, actually. What was I thinking? It's not a maybe. You guys are definitely going to want to catch it. And inside of this chest, we are going to get ourselves another item that is going to be helping us on our adventure. So with that, guys, boom, another piece of heart. We are looking fantastic now that we've obtained that piece of heart. And that is pretty much all we're going to do here for today. I told you guys it's going to be a little bit of a side questy day before we make our way to Great Bay. But you know what? We've gotten a lot accomplished. So we, you know, have finished this up for today. We will continue our adventure tomorrow with two more videos and then one, you know, every day on the weekdays uh, a little bit later in the afternoon. Uh, there's a bed in here? I ain't see nothing. All right, dude. Dompe is such a chicken. But with that, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next episode. Goodbye.